everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what we're up to. And what we're up to today is we are ready to present our 2021 Christmas home tour to you guys. I am so excited that it is this time again that we are all finished our decorating and I'm saying we because Chris has really, really, really helped me out this year. It is super windy out today. I'm sorry if it's coming in the camera. <laughs> it is really super windy. Sorry for my hair blowing all over the place. But I am ready to put this thing on video and we're going to do it today. <laughs> so as you've seen, we did up the driveway and kind of down the sidewalk. And I'm going to start my tour out here on the front porch and uh then we're going to enter into the foyer and we're going to walk through the house and i'm going to do a narrated tour first if you... uh, and then later this evening i'm going to turn out all the lights except for the christmas lights and i'm going to walk through and do a tour uh, with just the christmas lights on set to christmas music you guys and uh, no talking in that one so if you would rather see that one then I want you to just go ahead and skip to minute mark this. And that's where the non-narrated uh, Christmas tour in the evening hours just set to music will start at minute mark this. So I totally understand if people don't like to hear me yammering along about every little thing, but some folks do. That So I'm trying to accommodate everyone <laughs> in this video. So I'll go ahead into my final words now and say, Thank you all so much for stopping in here today. For those of you who might be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits to bits to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, till I see you in front of the camera again, y'all take good, good care. Welcome to our home, you guys. I hope you enjoy this 2021 Christmas home tour. I'll tell you guys, I've been waiting and waiting for the wind to die down and it's just not dying down. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and, and pan around here the front porch. I just did this last week. So I will give you a link in the description uh, that tells you all about what I've done here on the front porch. What we've done here, Chris hung all these lovely bows and the wreaths and the bows on all the windows and I explain everything in that outdoor home tour video. So instead of me lingering out here in the windy weather, we're going to hop on into the house here and start the indoor home tour. <laughs> all right, I'll be right back when I'm inside. Okie dokie, everybody. Here we are inside the house now where it's a lot calmer. Thank goodness. That wind was a little crazy out there, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, but just to give you a little background, uh, this is a, a two-story colonial with a full basement underneath. There's more house to the left of where I'm sitting than there is to the right. I'm going to start, uh, though, straight ahead in the family room. I wanted to show you, we do have a landing upstairs, which we will not be going up to other than I will show you some pictures from up there uh, as we go through the video here. But uh, that is a landing up there. You can see those pretty chairs. I'll do something more up there at a later time. But you can see I have a little white tree up there stand, sitting on a table with colored lights. Uh, super pretty little tree. So, but we're going to start over here in the family room so let's go over that away and this is the family room that we have these big windows in and that leads over into the kitchen and the kitchen eating area so we move on in and turn around see the staircase that separates 
the front from the back of the house. You will notice that the front of the house where we just came from, there's the foyer, where we just came from is decorated completely differently than it is here in the back of the house. And that is by design, you guys. Just because I love that we have this staircase and that affords me the opportunity to bring two different feelings into this house, if you will, uh, with my Christmas decorating. I dedicate the front of the house decor to my mama who loved the color blue. And as we go through there, you'll see more and more of what I'm talking about. But back here in this part of the house, I've done it in the classic Christmas colors of red and white, mostly. I've thrown in some greens and I've thrown in some golds here and there. Just to tell you that I have a slideshow running currently from my computer, uh, mirrored up to the TV uh, of this is our decor. This is our Christmas decor for this year. So I thought I would do something with the TV other than just have a big black box sitting there. <laughs> so anyway, let's start here with my cozy corner. Uh, so named because it's a vignette in a corner. <laughs> my friend Liz uh, who passed away of ALS several years ago, helped me name my cozy corners and is the one that encouraged me to start my blog and my YouTube channel. I go through this. Anyway. This is a sleigh that a lovely subscriber sent to me several years ago now. And this uh, is, is a where six I foot have... ladder standing up inside the sleigh. And uh, everything is attached to the ladder, the wreath and the picture and the bells. I'm not gonna go through every everything, like, the, like for instance, the bells were from Cracker Barrel. We're not gonna go through everything and say, well, this is from there and that's from there. I'll tell you what, you guys, I have a whole playlist with Decorate With Me's and with tons of links and all kinds of stuff. I'll put an iCard up in here and also there'll be a link in the description for the entire 2021 Christmas playlist. I encourage you, to, if you have a question about anything that you see here, to go and, and search out that video and uh, take a peek at the links that I've provided and the explanations I've provided in the video and that in those certain videos, and that will help you find, if it's available, anything that you might see that you might like. So all the bows that you see inside the house here, I created. And of course, I created all of the vignettes that you see, all of the centerpieces. Uh, with my husband, Chris's help, as far as the lighting is concerned, he's the lighting genius. Uh, he has helped me uh, with all of the candle lights you see. He's made them so that they can be plugged into either an, an external battery or into an electrical outlet. And if you'd like to know how to do that, his tutorial video is in every description box of every video, including this one that I put up. So I encourage you to go and check that out. So anyway, as we move across here, this is just a little sleigh. Decor. That I made up a couple of Let me pan up to the mantle first. Uh, taking center stage is the most important part of this season and why we celebrate the season and that is the birth of our Jesus Christ and this nativity just tells that tale doesn't it <laughs> so that's why it takes the most important spot in my decor right there center stage on the mantle this I made this wreath I've tweaked it many times through the years but uh I've kept it the same for the last couple. I'm very happy with how all of this worked out. We added the bells this year. Got those at Michael's. And uh, very happy with that. And as we come down here, you'll notice that I moved some candles. These two black candlesticks were over on the other side of the hearth. When we put the tree up, I moved them over here. I think they look pretty. And uh, I'm just gonna pan across. Stacy, my sweet cousin, made me. Each of us is an innkeeper who decides if there is room for Jesus. She made that many years ago. That's a one of a kind, you guys. 
I can't tell you where to go and buy that. She made that for me. Our entire family are Christians and uh, we all celebrate the same, you know? And let's come over here and talk about this tree for a little bit. Uh, this tree is always the last, pretty much the last decoration to go up here in this house, on this side of the house, uh, because we all decorate it as a family. There are many, many family ornaments on here, very special ornaments, ornaments also that cover our travels, also ornaments that you guys have given me through the years. And uh, this is just a very special tree. And I, we don't ever do this on camera. So and we all like to decorate it together. So, we have twinkle lights, as you can see, inside the tree and, uh, and running around the outside of the tree, plus other white lights. I made all the bows out of D. Stevens Velvet Ribbon that I got from PerpetualRibbons.com. And we have some snowmen down on the bottom there, just kind of lounging around. <laughs> so, again, you can look up and see the staircase. The staircase is uh, just pine garland wrapped in white lights. And then I have berry garland snugged into the pine using the pine as kind of like twist ties. And then this fella here, he is from a store over in Harrisonburg, Virginia called Snow and Ice. And then I just picked up this dude from the Christmas Mouse in Williamsburg the other day. So I thought they looked pretty spiffy there on the staircase. <laughs> so that's where they landed. Again, I made all the bows. These are eight loop funky bows here. And uh, this pretty blanket I got from Cracker Barrel years and years and years ago. Those are pillow covers. All of those are pillow covers. There's a hint for you guys. Instead of buying new pillows, I just replace pillow covers, use the same forms every season throughout the years and just replace the pillow covers. So that spiffy pillow cover was from Michael's, I believe. But it is a it was a pillow. It's an entire pillow. Then I actually bought something else from Michael's and then I I, I just got the pillow to take me up over a certain amount for shipping. Yeah. Uh-huh because I'm just, don't want to pay shipping. <laughs> All right, here is a sweet little uh, fun project here. This is actually a three-tiered pumpkin that I got from Joann's years and years ago. And uh, I keep it out through the seasons now. And, uh, but for now, he looks like a little snowman with his top hat and his necklace of red berries and his red bow around his neck. That's just it's a closer look at the uh, garland. Then I also got this guy from uh, Snow and Ice there in Harrisonburg, Virginia, the end of the season last year. And I thought he looks pretty spiffy there, sitting right in the bullnose. <laughs> We'll head over to the ivy table and just take a stop at this wreath. I made this wreath last year. Uh, you can get the over the door, by the way, uh, wreath hangers from Amazon. I have some linked in an Amazon shop. I'm not sure if they're available right now on Amazon. If you can't find it in Amazon, I got mine from grandandroad.com. So you can go there and look for them if you'd like. So let's move over here to the ivy table, so named because this table we've had since the 80s and it used to have ivy leaves painted on that door and that door. And Chris painted it black and distressed it to match all of the other black furniture that you see or will see here uh, to match the credenza under the TV, the desk, the hutch and the table and chairs. So this is also where I keep all of my vintage trees and mine really are vintage and really were passed down to me from my grandmother to my mom and then to my dad with the green tree and then to me my grandmother gave me this tree 
for uh, Christmas for when Chris and I were first married. She gave me that tree. So I bought this little Santa head just the other day at the Christmas mouse and he cute. I stuck him there. <laughs> Made up this little tray design. A lot of these things are, are quite old, like these snowmen are very old. I've had them for decades and I've used them. And there's this tree. That's very special to me. It went from my grandmother to my mom to my dad and dad put it in mom's nursing room, home room a couple of times. And uh, it's been around that tree. <laughs> my mom passed away of Alzheimer's for those that might not know back in 2013. This is one of my favorite pictures here. Uh, that is Santa holding the baby Jesus and the placard on there says, I do believe. And uh, this is one of my favorite vignettes in the house. I really like this little area a lot. Here we go with this pretty six foot, I believe it's six foot flocked tree. Got it from Walmart a couple years ago now. And uh, I just have it decorated with a lot of little ornaments that I got from a place called Lidl here in town. One day I went in there and they just had all these sweet little hearts and uh, bells and other ornaments. And I have added some, how this got turned around, I will never know. I have added other ornaments to it through the years, you know. Twinkle, that is a Ray Dunn, I believe. And Jingle down here. And uh, it is a sweet, sweet little tree. Have a snowman snugged in there. And I made a funky bow topper. And of course we made the topper. We made that topper too. I meant to say that out there in the big tree. I mean, Chris and I did create that ourselves. And, uh, and then we also created this one. And uh, that is simply a gift box that I have Velcroed, command strip Velcroed up there. And I got that snowman from a, a secondhand store. Chris made the uh, Mary box. I bought the box somewhere, I don't remember where, but he made it into a tree stand. This tree actually gets carried down just like this into the basement and it stays all put together like this every year and it's brought out every year now let me back off this is the kitchen arguably my favorite room in the house it is the hub of the home it is where we all meet and greet and craft and cook and hug and maverick is running around the island and it is just the one of the most special places in our home you can see that we did decorate somewhat up on top of the cabinets. Little sleigh up there. That lantern in the middle there came from Walmart last year. And a uh, little Santa gnome. The windows, oh my goodness, let's see if I can get them to, it's so glary outside, sorry. You'll see this better at night. But uh, you can see all the leaves are off the trees now, isn't that sad? Oh my goodness. Let's turn around and start in this corner, which I did take some time to decorate this corner up this year. Uh, there's Maverick, our grandson. <laughs> there he is. And uh, I just did a few things, just uh, put a plate on a plate stand. And we did a charger and then glued a, a melamine snowman plate. I'll give you a closer look at that here in the window. Uh, the, lo the little lamps that you see there and then over here, I got at a secondhand store. And a lot of this is just some, you know, uh, decor that I've had for a long, long time that I decided to bring back out. My grandmother crocheted that tree. <laughs> And here's what I'm talking about with the uh, charger and then just a melamine plate 
glued onto the charger with Gorilla Glue, which is kind of a strong super glue. And just decorated up the windows a little bit. There's a melamine plate to match the snowman plate there, the dinner plate and the then the salad plate. Just made an arrangement in this pretty vase, pretty red vase that I got at a secondhand store. And then milk glass. You're going to start seeing a good bit of milk glass if you haven't already. And uh, then these trees flanking the arrangement. And then my cousin Stacy again made me the Lord is my strength and my song, Psalm 118, 14. And we live in Spotsylvania. There it is, Spotsylvania, Virginia. I did change out the curtains this year to red snowflake curtains. Got them from Amazon, I believe. Not expensive, but really make a big statement in here. And then this window just mimics the window on the other side. I did do a ton. I don't like a lot of stuff sitting on my kitchen counters. So I, I did take advantage and, and did put some decor out here and there. Uh, like this little vignette here. Uh, this candle holder was from Yankee Candle years ago though, a couple years ago. And uh, that little candle holder I got from And That this year. Snowman I got from BJ's, and then I had a dear friend make me this tall Santa board. He's all the way reaches to the counter. And I hadn't put him out for a while, so I thought I would stick him there this year. <laughs> and then I just did a little bit of uh, whimsical decor inside the tray in this corner. Kind of a fiber optic kind of look there. And then of course we live here, so here's our cereal bars. <laughs> I used to decorate with burgundies all the time, and this corner of the kitchen is kind of the only place in the house that I've, you know, kind of put up a couple of things just because I love them so much. And I have separated it from the other red decor pretty much. But uh, one thing is this picture that I got years and years and years ago. Uh, I love it of the snowman, you know, standing at the birdhouse, talking to the little, Talking to the little cardinal, I just love that picture. You can see that it's it, that frame is beat up and as old as the hills, you guys, but that's one of my favorites. Little boy and girl, looks like they're out getting a Christmas tree or caroling. <laughs> and then, then sings my soul. Stacy again, my cousin made me that sticker to go on this pretty uh, pinky red lantern that came from Cracker Barrel a couple years ago though. And then I made this bow topper for on top of it. That is a funky bow topper. I believe it's an either 12 loop or 16 loop funky bow. You want to know how to make any of the bows that I make? I have a bow making 101 playlist here on my channel. You're welcome to check it out. Always found on the very first page of my channel. So one of my dear subscribers made me a cardinal hot pad, but I, uh, bring it out for decor every year. So here we come on around. I made this wreath for my dad one year when he hosted our Christmas Eve celebration. Stacy gave me, thank you, Lord, for your blessings. That is our family song that we all sing together when we are together. And uh, that is etched into wood. This Cardinal cent Central there, uh, placed on a shelf that Chris made me years and years ago. Chris is my husband, if I haven't said, and for those that might just have stopped by to see the tour and don't really know who I am. <laughs> Chris is my husband. You hear me talking about him all the time. <laughs> we work as a team here. Uh, I made this centerpiece brand new this year. I'm super happy with how this worked out. And I, Mr. Santa Claus, who sits there and reads to us the night before Christmas, you could really turn him on and he really does read. Again, I got him from Snow and Ice, the store over in Harrisonburg, Virginia. Uh, but I got this, this vase. You can see it has a white striping at the top of it there. And I got that at a secondhand store called the Minuteman Mini Mall over in Culpeper, Virginia, and just created this, this uh, vase to go in this tray that Chris made me. 
out of shiplap. It's very long, it's like 24 inches long and 15 inches wide. And uh, believe in the magic of Christmas. And so this tray design is new for this year. Super happy with how that worked out. And then the trees flanking it and the little uh, sugar bowl and creamer in there. Got that at the Minute Man Mini Mall as well. And of course there's the decor up on top of these cabinets. May this Christmas find us surrounded by the ones we love and those who love us. I need to have, this is a weight bearing column. I don't have a choice but to have that there. And I don't decorate it because, by design, because I don't want anything to take our attention off of what's beyond it. Okay, here we go. This is the hooker furniture that I was referring to, the black hutch, the black table and chairs, and this desk. And we'll move over here to the desk first. Again, this is kind of whimsical up here with cardinals and a snowman and uh, a pitberry garland, pre-lit pitberry garland that's old. It was from Plow and Hearth one year that I added red berries to. I made the bows a couple of years ago. There's some bells over on that side and then another arrangement in a red vase up there. Again, red and white and adding a little bit of gold. And then I just did a few things down here. You know, just added a couple of whimsical things. That ornament actually came from perpetualribbons.com and she has a beautiful ribbon that matches that, that ornament, you guys. Check it out, perpetualribbons.com. She's got a sale going on for all of her Lux ribbon, by the way, until Christmas. So, okay, we're gonna come over here. This uh, corner shelf is not from Hooker. Instead, it is from a store here in town called Dottie's Den. But a friend gave me the lovely cardinal tray and that Santa I got from the Minuteman Mini Ball. Isn't he cute? He has got a very friendly, friendly face. He's a cutie patootie, that guy. And then this is where I have my Lennox collection. Just, and I don't, I don't have a big collection, but I do have a, a few pieces. And the Christmas tree and the snowman. And that's just a pine wreath with a funky bow, a little swag that I Walk right in here to the powder room real quick to show you this. I decided to do it in blue and white again this year because I had just created it last year. So we'll pan around it here just a little bit. This does light up and change colors. It's fiber optic. This is a pretty white tree. I don't remember where I got that tree, you guys, but boy, that's a pretty one. And uh, just blue and white, totally blue and white and silver in here. One of you subbies made me that pretty crocheted towel. And then Chris made me this shelf years and years ago. It used to be painted burgundy. We painted it black. And I made that spray. Okay, here we go with this hutch. This is one of my very favorite pieces in the house. That has a lot of my milk glass collection housed in it. So I'll just kind of pan through. Lisa Sagardia gave me the beautiful nativity there. More Santa Clauses. Jean Brinkman had this truck made and helped to make it. I love it. Marlin's Country Craft Corner there on the front. <laughs> Thank you. 
More bells from Cracker Barrel. And the big Believe sign with a red charger and then a couple of red vases with florals in them and a couple of snowmen up there. Let's pause here at the centerpiece here at the table. Uh, first of all, this doily was given to me by a dear friend of mine named Karen and her mother-in-law, I believe, made this and I try to bring it out every year and put it somewhere and this is where I put it this year. And I ganged all three of my red lanterns that we got from Walmart several years ago. Chris got them for me together. And he made me a Lazy Susan. There's actually a Lazy Susan underneath there. This thing can turn if we so desire. So I just finished this the other day if you'd like to see how I put it together. And you can hear those, <laughs> you can hear those candles siphoning on and off. And Chris has them rigged up. It's not taking batteries to run those. They're running off of an external battery. Again, check his, check his uh, video out in the description box. And then to finish off this side of the house, this is just a little cozy corner. Again, bringing in a little bit of the burgundy that I had in my other decor. I got rid of a lot of it, but uh, I made these funky bows from ribbon from perpetualribbons.com, by the way. Turn around here and we're gonna head into the dining room. I got this new three, three tiered shelf this year and it is the holder of uh, my Jim Shore pieces. That one on top, Bobby gave me, it is not, Bobby from Perpetual Ribbons gave me last year. It is not Jim Shore, but the other pieces are on there. And that little fella there. And uh, just a cute little Santa Claus corner there. Okie dokie, you guys, here we go. This is, uh, as I was saying, the hutch and table Chris and I got when we were pretty much close to first married, 40 years ago, almost. <laughs> and as luck would have it, my garland burned out right before I came in here, you guys. And I just don't have time to fix it. So, and Chris doesn't have time to fix it. So, uh, picture this garland lit. I'm really sorry, but it did burn out like today. So, uh, so frustrating. But regardless, uh, as you can see inside the hutch, I did add a little bit of um, Christmas bling here and there in here. And, uh, in that corner, there is a pretty little white Christmas tree. Again, we made the topper, I made the bow, and uh, just a little white pencil tree with silver and white and blue bulbs on it. Pretty little tree. And then, I'm going to back up here a minute and show you a brand new design for this year, you guys. And that is this table design. I can't wait to show it to you at night. It looks super pretty. These are LED fairy lights in it. And uh, it they telescope blue in the, in the evening. And this side of the house, my, my uh, colors are white. Are blue, white, silver, and very uh, light and airy colors. I'll show you the nativity over there in a second. But I decided I wanted to make a very large and in charge centerpiece. And I think we accomplished that goal. I had done one here.
very happy with it. And here's our sideboard. That lamp is very special. That was my grandmother's lamp uh, that she passed down to my mom. And then after my mom passed away, I brought it here. Has a lot of history with that lamp. This is a pretty nativity that I got last year. And I have one just like it that Lisa gave me this year underneath the Christmas tree out here. I'll show you in a minute. But this is just a soft little design here with blues and whites and silvers. Over here, I moved my little wrought iron and glass table over to this corner to make room for the blue and white tree. And we did this two-tiered tray on camera one day. Decorate with me. And uh, anyway, that's a new vase that I got this year. Made a quick little design in and stuck a little owl in the top of it. <laughs> it's cute. See this little doll inside here? She, that is a Glenda doll from Madame Alexander. That was my mom's. She was my mom's doll. And I created this entire design around her and do it through the seasons. It's done with blush pinks and golds usually. And uh, that is a lantern topper that I made years and years ago for a gold or a cream lantern that I had. Up there at Hobby Lobby this year, could not resist him. Look at him standing up there. <laughs> I love him. He fit up there. I was so happy. And then I have a couple of little reindeer on this side and angels that my mother in law gave me. And then each shelf has just a little touch of Christmas, got little gold Christmas trees, one up the top and one. There on the bottom, and uh, just touches of Christmas. Not anything over the top, little snowman. There's a Santa Claus on the top shelf there. And uh, this is just a soft, sweet, soft uh, design that. Uh... We'll go ahead and talk about the foyer now. I kind of put a little bit of a different color in here because I do have these pictures in here that kind of have a sea foamy green frame on them. So I did kind of kind of pull that color and blue in through here. I made this wreath years ago and that bow on the wreath. It's a burlap wreath. And uh, this is a little church window kind of a wall embellishment that my aunt and uncle gave me a couple years ago for Christmas. And uh, I just have sitting in the corner there. And y'all can see what I did here. Just added a snowman, added a Santa. And just added a little bit of Christmas cheer here and there, you know? And then the last room is this room. This is our living room. And we're gonna head over to that white tree last. And uh, let's start here. And uh, this is a half moon table that was ours very, very old table. I made that centerpiece a long time ago. And uh, found this blue Santa at and that last year when I bought the blue and white tree. Stacy again, our family is a circle of strength and fidelity, founded on faith, joined in love, and kept by God. She made that with her cricket. And as we turn here, this piece was my grandmother's secretary. And Rich, one of my uh, YouTube friends, made me that beautiful garland up there, that fabric garland that I actually wrapped an ornament garland into and made the bow kind of as a topper there for the, or garland there for the top of the secretary. And I have just blue and white decor in there. I really didn't put anything Christmassy in there until we get down to where I styled it with the door open again. 
Super pretty, super soft. Bonnie gave me that sweet little angel up there. Forgot to replace her batteries. Bonnie, <laughs> her wings actually light up. And on top of that I made, Bobby had sent me from the Perpetual Ribbons that sent me that beautiful cobalt blue ribbon. Right so I made that lantern topper and Chris had painted that lantern gold for me. It's from, the lantern's from Walmart, but he painted it gold for me. And uh, that turned out super pretty. One of my aunts gave me that little snow lady. Very sentimental room here. A lot of things gifted, a lot of gifts. This, for, this, uh, the secretary was my grandmother's and so was this little coffee table. And as I said, that hutch that pink, where I do the pink and gold, that hutch was my grandmother's too. But here we go on this little coffee table that my dad wanted me to be sure to tell you that he wrapped every single gift for our family on this little table. The, the glass top is removable. So he would take the glass top off and he would wrap every gift, no matter how big the gift was, it would sit on that little table and he would wrap the gifts. He wanted me to be sure to tell you that here in this video. <laughs> Arguably one of my favorite things in the house too. This is my blue and white tree. Yes, it really is blue. And excuse the way the lights come through here. I'm gonna kind of keep it close for a while here. To try to give you a look at this tree. There's the tree topper we made because for some reason my phone has not been liking the LED lights and it makes them look like they blink and flicker and all kinds of stuff here. So if I keep it close and it doesn't try to pick up the light from outside, I do better. That is beautiful ribbon there that I made the bow at the top with and some of the bows on the tree with. It's available at perpetualribbons.com. Amanda Thrasher gave me those beautiful blue and white bulbs there. And you see other bulbs uh, nestled in the tree. She gave me those as well this year. And I do have all kinds of sweet little blue and white ornaments I've been collecting this year. I've got teapots, sorry, teapots and a heart and a teacup and I don't know, all kinds of little, little blue and white ornaments. And then there's the nativity under the tree. And it just has a little, little train. And then check out the polar bear trying to bop the bulb with his nose. That's Chris's humor there. <laughs> But I love this tree. I love how it worked out. I'm sorry it looks kind of uh, half lit and half not lit. Trust me, it's completely lit. You can see I put uh, snowflakes just from Walmart there in the windows and then little trees sitting down in the windows. So that is going to do it for the narrated portion of the home tour, you guys. So I'm going to morph right into a tour that I will actually record later this evening when it gets dark. Just, and I'll have it just set to Christmas music and with just the Christmas lights on. Christmas on we go with the next portion of the video. Bye-bye.
Thank you.